Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Goof Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams. And today we are having a look at the Jetta Toys Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challenger's Fei Long. I just got done doing the review for Ryu, and I'm going to tell you, if this is anything like that, I'm, I'm just, I'm super stoked because it was such a great figure. He's up on my shelf. He's, he's got a temporary spot on my G.I. Joe shelf right now until I can figure out exactly where he's going to go. But uh, let's dive into Fei Long here. Uh, same packaging. We have that arcade cabinet style packaging with the health meters up at the top. There you can see Fei Long and all his Fei Longiness. Uh, we've got the console here with the joystick and the buttons. There you can see the artwork there from the game with Fei Long, Ultra Street Fighter 2, Final Challengers, Fei Long, Warning Choking Hazard. Don't put toys in your mouth. Age of 13 Plus, Jada Toys. On the side here, we've got the arcade cabinet side with all the characters. There you can see Ryu, Fei Long, Kami. Uh, I think that's Blanca up there in the top right, I think. And then uh, on the, the other side here, we've got some more characters, Vega, Bison, uh, all those guys. And uh, we've got a little multilingual blurb down here also about Fei Long. I didn't kind of miss that on the Ryu because I was so mesmerized by the box. And then on the back here, we got the Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challenge. There is the image of Fei Long with the character select screen like you just selected him the 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 packaging on this is everything about the the i just uh okay uh let's move on <laughs> on the bottom here we've got jada toys jibby jibby legal jargon ages zero to three you know what that means if your child is not born yet they shouldn't play with these toys that's right you're welcome more jibby jibby legal jargon and a barcode with an amazon barcode over it Let's get him out of the package. Let's get him onto the pedestal, and we'll have ourselves a look. All right, here we've got him on the pedestal. Let's have a look at the accessories. First and foremost, he does come with two separate heads. Uh, we have a neutral head on him by default, and then we have sort of a, an expressive head with his mouth open there. Not a gnashed teeth head, but uh, yeah, just an expressive head. Again, in that anime style, it looks really good. The eyes, the sculpt, the hair. It's just that cross between real and cartoony, and, and it works. Uh, the hair looks good. It's very, very Bruce Lee-like, but I mean, that's what, that, that's what the, this character, when it came out, I think in the... I think it came out in, what, the the second edition of Street Fighter. It wasn't out in Street Fighter 2. I think it was like maybe Street Fighter 2 Turbo. But... Um, yeah, really good looking head sculpt. Uh, the hair is really nice. That jet black hair uh, with the sculpt on it looks really, really good. Uh, the face sculpt looks really good. It's like I said, it's just that that nice Goldilocks zone between realistic and animated, and it works. Uh, we also have two sets of hands. We have two fisted hands on him by default, and then we have some sort of splayed out hands uh, on on him as well and then we have uh in and out hinges on those uh right there but uh looks really really good looks really good and then we have his effect which uh, goes on his leg obviously it looks like a big old flaming pickle um it's very very soft rubbery translucent plastic slips over his leg so he can do his his super duper flamey kick um, we've got the orange there on the one end going into the yellow. Looks really good. Looks really, really good. Um, and then here we have Fei Long. And Fei Long stands at uh, just about uh, just a teensy bit under six inches tall. So he's a little bit shorter than Ryu, which is nice. There's, there's variation in the height of these guys. And this... Again, looks really good. The face sculpt looks really good. The musculature looks really good. This one's even going to be better because he does he's not wearing a shirt. So we're going to have even more. I mean, Ryu had incredible articulation. I can't wait to dive into this one. But we've got that that uh, very Bruce Lee-ish head um, with the fantastic hair sculpt and the fantastic face sculpt. Uh, on a shirtless body uh, that 
has very, very defined musculature. I, I do not believe it's a reuse of Ryu. Re, Ryu, reuse. Hmm. Didn't plan on that. Um, this looks like a, it's a completely different sculpt. Um, the, the wash on the muscles giving them definition looks really, really good. Um, I'm very, very happy with, with Ryu, and I think I'm going to be even more so, or maybe even more happy with this one. Uh, we've got a pair of black gi pants down to some slippers. Uh, that have a black top and a cream colored middle looks white on camera but is more of a cream color with uh, black the black slippers on there with black soles and we've got a yellow uh, line around the edge of the sole on that let's just jump into articulation and get into this because I'm dying to know how this is going to work um we have the ball uh, going into the upper torso and with a dumbbell going up into the head. The head pops off effortlessly, so we have a dumbbell there on the neck going into the head. Head goes right back on, no problem. Oh, man. Giving us full rotation on the head and uh, really good down and not too bad either on the upswing there. And uh, super duper, super duper, super duper tilt. Uh, with the with the arms, we've got butterfly joints uh, going all the way back to this one's being a little contrary, but I'm got it into place. So uh, butterfly joints all the way back to there and all the way forward to there. Uh, with the uh, full rotation on the arm, uh, with a hinge at the shoulder going you kind of have to push these in and up uh, i noticed that with ryu um arms up to there in a t formation bicep swivel with a double elbow catching right there uh down to the wrist where we have a full rotation on the wrist and a an in and out hinge on all four hands there with that and then when you just kind of pull and then bend down there's some kind of little detent in there that's doing that. Uh, ball hinge, lower torso into the upper torso, giving us some super ab crunch. <laughs> super, super ab crunch. And then all the way back uh, to there. Um, and some hula hoop. Uh, really nice. We also have a ball hinge at the waist. Also accenting that... Uh, ab crunch and then uh, detent on that with the waist swivel uh, let's get the arms out of the way here we've got the legs out to there <laughs> full split <laughs> man uh, full split there uh, no drop down ball joint but we do have a thigh swivel and a double knee going back to there where that catches and then down to the feet where we have a swivel uh boot swivel there uh on the feet and then we've got detents on the feet and a forward rocker let's give him let's put his here let's put his splayed out hand the hands pop off effortlessly too um here, let's get him. Let's put his. Uh, let's put his effect on his leg. I want to see how that. Oh yeah, that just slides right in there. Um, check his balance, because Ryu had really good balance. Okay, that. That might be a little bit more difficult because the the the. Uh, the rubber thing on his leg does does weight it down a bit, so you probably would want to have him on a stand. Uh, and anyway, they do have peg holes in them, so. But uh, we could still we could still get him to balance without having that on there. Here, let's get his. There we go. Yeah, no stand. 
Fantastic. Let's get him off the pedestal. Let's line him up with some other characters and we'll see how he scales up. And here we have him with the Medicom Moffex Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper Version 2, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series Shang-Chi Master of Kung Fu Comic Book Edition, and the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Quick Kick. All in all, again, 100% super satisfied. This is a 10 out of 10. These are awesome figures. They have that import quality with a reasonable price at 25 bucks a pop. I, I don't know what else to say. The, these are great. They, they hit all the articulation points. The only, if I had to put any gripe in this whatsoever, it would be the fact that there's not a drop down ball joint. And honestly, that really doesn't even matter because these are so well articulated and they're so, they just feel good and solid. Um, I'm telling you, Jada Toys, they're, they're going to start giving people like Hasbro and Mattel a run for their money. I am thoroughly satisfied with this. I hate the fact that these were both really good figures, this Fei Long and Ryu. Because now I'm going to be like, oh, am I going to have to get some of these other guys? But uh, I probably, if I get anybody else, it'll probably just be M. Bison, just so I can have the villain, and then that's it. You know, the main villain. But um, Fei Long and Ryu are always kind of my two favorite characters. Um, I might get Vega. Vega, I liked Vega too. But I again, I really wasn't a Street Fighter guy. I was a Mortal Kombat guy, but... These figures are outstanding. If you haven't picked these up yet, get them. Reuse on sale for 22 bucks. So pick these up. They are fantastic. I can't say anything else. Uh, I mean, I, I just I don't really have any complaints about them. So that will do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of my channel. You all have yourselves a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.